Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Welcome back. We are still tracking the leading edge of this line of mostly rain, but occasionally getting some lightning strikes. So we can call it a strong thunderstorm line, but that's a good news. Uh, if we're not seeing much of a way of lightning, it's showing that it's not really strengthening all that much. But again, all the way from about Marshall County and then right on the Jackson to Cap County line. That's that leading edge and it's moving pretty quickly to the east at about 40 to 45 miles per hour. So we really only have a little less than an hour left with this before it is out of our area and we're just tracking some lingering showers and of course much cooler air moving in behind the cold front. There is one area that I am keeping a closer look at uh, right now. You'll notice just east southeast of section this part of the line closer to Powell just to the west of Rainsville. That is probably the strongest part of the line that I've seen over the last 10 to 15 minutes. This is also just off to the west of Sylvania. Uh, keeping a close eye on any rotation, but we're just not seeing much in the way of rotation. Again, there's Rainsville off to the east, maybe a little bit of broad rotation occasionally showing up on some of the wind data, but nothing too alarming at this point. But if you're in Rainsville, if you're in Sylvania, you still need to be paying attention over the next five to 10 minutes. There's a look at your hour by hour rain chases through the rest of today. And of course, behind the line, we still have showers, but you'll notice how they quickly start to drop off through the rest of this afternoon. We'll keep them at about 10% all the way through the late afternoon hours and into this evening, along with those dropping temperatures. So there's a look at future radar. This is one o'clock here this afternoon. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from now. There's that leading edge now moving off to the east into Georgia, but there's still plenty of lingering showers moving in all the way back to Lawrence County and into Limestone County. So that's why that rain chance sticks around all the way through the late afternoon hours and into this evening. But most areas were starting to dry out and of course cool down. All the way through tonight into your Tuesday morning. One big takeaway, we are mostly dry for that Tuesday morning commute with some breaks in the cloud cover. But watch this, heading into Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening, big slug of rain moving in from out of the south and southwest and maybe a few rumbles of thunder, but also just some pockets of moderate to even heavy rainfall. Just look at all that heavy rain moving in from out of the southwest. This is nine o'clock tomorrow evening, so we are still in a very active pattern even once that cold front moves off to the east here in the next hour. All that heavy rain continues through the overnight hours, but just in time for that Wednesday morning commute, you'll notice that most of the rain is moving off to the east, but likely still some ponding on the roadways and still maybe some debris on the roadways for that Wednesday morning commute, but we'll have those dry conditions sticking around into your Wednesday afternoon. So that's the next storm system moving in again by tomorrow and into your Tuesday evening. And look at all the rainfall in the forecast. This goes through the next seven days. Some of this has already fallen, especially for areas west of I-65, but we could still pick up around two to three inches of rainfall for areas east of I-65. So still some lingering flood issues all the way through this upcoming weekend. Again, we have another system moving in after Wednesday. This is heading into your Friday. This one a little bit different. You'll notice the rain moving in by Friday afternoon, but look off to the west northwest. We have some very cold air racing in and right around about 11 o'clock on Friday evening. You know what the pink means? That is a wintry mix. Snow is off to the northwest as you get into these blues and look at the switch over right around midnight into the early morning hours on Saturday 2 a.m. We are seeing some moderate snowfall even showing up on some of the model data right over top of Huntsville and other parts in North Alabama that continues through the overnight hours, but right around about sunrise on Saturday morning. That's when we start to wrap things up, but maybe enough of that heavy snow that we could see some light accumulations, but it's Monday. A lot can change between now and Friday evening. Just stay weather aware heading through the next five days. There's a look at that seven day forecast again. We see those temperatures dropping through the rest of today. Tomorrow morning, we're back down to the upper 30s, highs in the upper 50s for your Tuesday, and you'll notice by Thursday, we're on the rebound 65 for a high on Thursday, 60 67 on Friday, but once that cold front races in Friday evening, temperatures will quickly tumble and that brings that chance for some wet snow or a wintry mix into early Saturday morning. And then by Saturday night, we spring forward. So of course, you'll set those clocks ahead one hour heading into Sunday. Back to you.